Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a wrap up of fall. He can't even help himself at this point. This is just gonna be like an every video thing. Every time I sit down to film, this is the back of my chair. He like jumps up to the top of my chair <laughs> and this is where he'll go to sleep. So sorry if it's distracting for you, but what am I gonna do? Today we're gonna to be doing a wrap up of fall and all of the things that were my favorites from the fall. Now, if you guys are new, I typically do my favorites videos quarterly instead of monthly because I feel like monthly is kind of, I don't know, it doesn't give me enough time to really know if I love something. And so what I've been doing is creating a list every month of like the products that I've been trying and that are my favorites so that I can do these kind of roundups for you. I used to split them into drugstore and high end, but I'm really finding lately that my favorites lists are getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> and so I'm able to fit everything in one video, so that's kind of great. So if you guys would like to learn what my favorite products were from this fall and hear my thoughts on everything, then keep on watching. All right, so I have kind of a mix of hair, skin, makeup, and other. So I guess I'll start with skin, and we'll do makeup last. I'll go, th yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You don't care. All right, so the first product I wanna mention is from Alginist. This is the Genius Liquid Collagen Serum. I mentioned this in my skincare video. Um, I don't even remember what I called it, but it was like skincare tips over 40 or something. I don't know. Um, but, or it was like my skincare routine, like the products that I'm actually using religiously that I'm obsessed with, like ride or die skincare products. This is on the top of the list. I cannot live without this, you guys, but I'm gonna warn you, it is expensive. Um, yeah, I put this in like a Sephora, in the Sephora sale like recommendations video also because it is so expensive you want to get it when it's on sale it's like a hundred and fifteen dollars or a hundred and twenty dollars something like that it's really expensive but it works so good that I can't like it's one of those things where it's changed my skin so much that I can never not be with it like I can never not use this you know what I mean um but I do have a code with them um and you can get 20% off and my code is in the description box so if you ever want to you know get this definitely get the 20% off I think you have to go you do have to go through Alginus website to get the discount like it's not a Sephora discount obviously um but I love this so much. I still continue to use it. This is like my fourth bottle. I cannot, I cannot get enough. I use it under my eyes too. And algae has regenerative properties, so it really helps to regenerate the skin, keep things looking more youthful. And I haven't had Botox now since, I wanna say August. And I'm like, that makes me nervous, <laughs> you know, but, my skin is actually doing great, and I swear it's because of this. So I love this so much. It's gonna continue to be a favorite product. I can't imagine a life without it. Next on my skincare list is another product that I have mentioned before, and that is the Hello Calm Mask from Origins. Now, I am not a masker by nature. Like, I don't mask very often. When I do, it's definitely to address a concern, and right now, my skin is dry. Like, it's just dry, because it the temperatures are all over the place. Some days it's warm, some days it's not warm. I've got the heat on some days, some days I don't, and my skin is just like, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm feeling dry. Um, so, I have been pulling this out, and when I put this on, I t when I tell you, like, it's magic what it does for my skin. Like, I've said this before. It looks like my skin took a giant drink of water whenever I put this on. It's just magic. It has um, K2 
cannabis sativa oil in it, and I swear, cannabis sativa oil is magical for the skin. I love this. It's so good. If you have, like, dry skin and you struggle with that, like, when I want to go out and I want to do, like, a full coverage beat and I'm going to wear, a, a like, a heavy foundation, but I don't want to look super dry and cakey, but my skin is acting up, that's when I'll pull this out. I'll put this on first for, like, 15 minutes. Then I put on my full beat and it looks flawless and amazing. So, in case of emergency, this guy, I always have it on hand and I love it so much. For the hair... I've really been loving the Olaplex number no. six leave-in reparative styling cream. I'm out of it. Like I have it upside down because there's a little tiny, I don't know if you can see this, a little tiny bit left in the bottle. I love this stuff. It makes my hair so much smoother without, like I did not blow dry my hair. This is an air dry. I, I know right like my hair has never looked so smooth from like after an air dry ever in my life than when I started using this and I do not ever blow dry my hair unless like I'm going to the salon or like there's a special situation and someone else blow dries my hair I'm a lazy ass bitch I don't like blow drying my hair I have so much hair you guys like I have such long hair that for me to blow dry it would be would be here all day and also it would damage my hair like too much because I my hair is so long so um yeah I this has been kind of a game changer because I haven't found anything that's kept my hair smooth like this I think it's pretty normal if you air dry your hair it's gonna look a little frizzy but if you like air drying your hair try this stuff it's magical all right, um, next I have this like really random product, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because I'm so in love with it. Um, I haven't talked about this anywhere on Instagram or anything yet, um, but I love this so much. Um, and it is the stupidest, simplest product, but it is this plus white five minute speed teeth whitening system. Okay. I drink a lot of coffee. When I'm drinking my iced coffee, I always have a straw. But in the mornings, when I drink my morning coffee, I do not have a straw. So over time, coffee's gonna stain your teeth. I drink red wine. I, you know, I was starting to notice my teeth look a little bit yellow for my liking. But I hate. The Crest White Strips. Like, I have them, but I never use them because they're such a pain in the ass. They're messy. It's a whole thing. You got to have them in your mouth for, like, a half an hour. And it's, like, it's just too much work for me. So then I never end up using them. And then my teeth never look, like, as white as they could look, right? With this stuff, I'm obsessed because it's only five minutes, which... Yes, that's like right up my alley. Um, you only use it for like two weeks at a time and you do it twice a day, but it's not messy, super easy to use, and you can multitask. So this little package comes with this little tray and it has like a the word top on it so you know which one goes on top. And then it has this speed whitening gel and you just put the whitening gel like along the top of here and then you flip it over and you do the same thing on the bottom and then you just put it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> and you just sit there for five minutes and it cleans your, like it whitens your teeth. And then when, after five minutes, you take this out, rinse it, whatever. And then there's this little stain guard dental whitening rinse and you just swish this around in your mouth and it gets all the gel and residue off and your teeth feel clean and like I've been using it since when did I get it Tuesday what day is today today is Wednesday I got it I think Friday and I think my teeth look so much whiter in just a few days like I'm so impressed with this so here's what I do I take a shower, I 
get out of the shower, I make sure I brush my teeth again because that's part of the instructions that says like brush your teeth. And then I put the gel in, I stick this in while I'm applying moisturizer to my face, to my body, while I'm getting dressed, while I'm doing other things. And then I take this out, rinse, and boom, like I finished whitening. And then at night, after I brush my teeth for the night, I put this in for five minutes and then I go to bed after like I take it out and rinse my mouth. Because my philosophy is like, well, now my teeth are whitening while I'm sleeping because that stuff is like sitting on my teeth. I'm telling you. It's been magical. And the best part about this whole thing is this is like $7. I know. I know. It's on Amazon. I will have it in my Amazon store for you guys. Um, it's linked in the description box down below. Uh, if you want to have really white teeth, and you don't like the high maintenance of those stupid whitening strips, I really recommend this stuff. It's magic. Magic. A foundation that I have been trying and loving in the fall, well, there's a couple, but like, the one I used a lot this fall was from Dose of Colors. It was the Meet Your Hue Foundation. I used this a lot. It's not what I have on right now, but the other one I used a lot was the one I used a lot over the summer, which was the Infallible Fresh Wear. And then um, the one on my face right now is kind of newer that I'm trying, so I don't really want to talk about that in this video. But this foundation I wore a ton this fall, and I really, really liked it. It does have kind of a satiny matte finish. It's long wearing. I did a full review on it, I think. Yeah, no, I did. I did a full review on this. So if you want to check out my review, but I've definitely um, been loving the foundation. But more than the foundation, I have been 100% absolutely psycho obsessed with the concealer, the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. This concealer, guys, I don't know. It's self-setting. I don't need a ton of powder with it. It lasts all day. It's really, really pretty on the skin. I just, I love it so much. It's so good. And then the other concealer that I've been using a ton, and I actually, I think that I reviewed this in the same video with the foundation, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I included them both in that video. Um, and then the other concealer is the Boing Cakeless Concealer from Benefit. I love the finish of this. I love the wear. It doesn't get cakey. It doesn't settle into my lines. It really does what it says it's going to do. The only problem that I've been having is it's a little bit too light because I've been self-tanning. And when I do wear this, it looks like, hey, girl, you brightened up your under eyes. You know, like it looks a little too, like, bright. Like, too light for me. I need a deeper shade, but when my self-tan fades, like, this works great for me. And if I really want to highlight, if I really want to brighten up my under eyes, it's fine. But the formula is what I love about this, so I did want to make mention, like, it's such a good formula, and I've been loving this. And then also from Dose of Colors, every day since I've got it. I've used this every day since I got it, and that is the sponge. Don't judge. It's dirty. I just used it to do my makeup today. But this sponge is awesome. I love it because it's like the shape of a beauty blender, except the bottom is flat. So it's not rounded. So I really feel like I get like a good blend in. And then I love that it's pointy here. So then it's easy to blend out my concealer. I don't know. I love this sponge so, so much. I've been just obsessed. I've been using it like literally every day this fall. Because I think I got this in either late August or early September. And I use, I've been using it all fall long. Love it. Another product that I've been randomly using a ton this fall is from L'Oreal. And it is the Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick in the shade Cocoa. I've been using this as a cream contour. I do have it on today. It blends out so flawlessly because it is a foundation. It says a shaping stick, but it's foundation with sunscreen. It says that on there too. So you can use it either way, but it just blends out so flawlessly into the skin that it looks like it's part of your skin. It's amazeballs. Like, it doesn't look like a cream contour, does it? 
bronzed, contoured, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Like I put it on the areas of my face that I put bronzer. And you can't tell. It just looks like I'm naturally just kind of like sun-kissed. I feel like it just gives me a nice natural looking bronze, which is very rare from a cream contour. So I've been using this a lot this fall. I don't know, like randomly, whenever I feel just kind of in the mood to have like a heavier beat to my face. I've been using this and I, I just, I can't get enough. It's so good. Another product I've been loving this fall is from Urban Decay and it is the Ultimate Brush Off Powder. I'm actually, look at how much I have left. I've been using this powder a ton. I love it so much. I feel like it blurs the pores. I definitely have it on right now. It blurs the pores. It keeps oils at bay. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy, but it does you know, keep your face matte, it does blur the pores, it does all the things. I really like it a lot. I hate the packaging though, like this situation is not pleasant at all. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's no like closure for this, like you have to put this back in to close it. And sometimes it doesn't catch and this will like fall off and then there's powder everywhere. I don't love the packaging, but this is the shade Universal also, by the way. But um, I do love the product. It is a really good powder, and I am loving it. An eyeshadow palette that I have not been able to put down. The Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop, the So Jaded palette. I reviewed this. I love this. I was so excited about it. I'm still so excited about it. It's so beautiful, so colorful, so much you can do. I've created so many looks with this. It's got different finishes. It's got a super shock shadow in there right here. It's got two glitters, shimmers, satins, metallics, mattes. Like it's just so good. And it's got color. It's got neutrals. It's, it's great. It's a great palette. I love it. It gets me excited. Every time I look at it, I'm like, Ooh, what do I feel like doing today? Like there's so many possibilities, you know? Um, so yeah, I love this palette. And then the last product, we only have one more, that I wanted to make mention of for the month. And that is kind of a newer to me product, maybe like the last, I got this like early to mid-October. And that is the Rach Loves Pixie Collaboration. This is a highlight palette. It is called the, I think, Layering, the Layers Highlighting Palette. Um, these two shades did come broken. I did fix them with rubbing alcohol, although they are starting to kind of need me to fix them again. I'm losing some pieces here. Um, but I'm glad that I fixed it because I love these two shades so much. I have it on now. It's so, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's very finely milled. It's very reflective in a glowy, shimmery kind of way, not in a metallic, sparkly kind of way. And that's what I love about it. These colors are also, oh God, so buttery, so smooth, really, really pretty as well. Um, but like, this is the big highlight here and these are the small ones. So I think these are fun to play. This one here is like more, has like a light pink undertone. And you've got purple and you've got one that's a little bit more bronzy but the bronzy one is not even that bronze it's a little bit it's got like a hint of like champagne to it even though it looks brown in the pan it's a little bit more of like a champagne you know what i mean so i wasn't like oh that's gonna be too dark for me but i can use it sometimes like if i'm really tan so um, but these two in particular, I've been using a ton, like every day. Love so much. I use it in my inner corner. I use it on my face. It's just, it's such a good palette. So I think that is it. Those are the products that I've been using a ton. I mean, bear in mind, I did move this month. So there was a period of time where I kind of slowed down on like trying new products and stuff like that because I was so busy like unpacking and getting my life in order. Um, but as a whole from like September to now, these are the products that I, I can tell you 100% I love, I'm using, they're amazing. 
So I hope you found that helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. You can follow me on social. My handle's at Glam Latte. And don't forget the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, CastBox, and iHeartRadio. All those details are in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I just want to hold you.